Hello my soccer universe. Well, today I didn't really have the time Friday to record a video. I'm doing it now in the evening. In order to make a little bit up for it, I want to make a short talk video, which is this one. I want to show you another jersey from my collection and we of course uh, do a little bit of a set from my collection as well. So there uh, should be three videos coming out this weekend. I have to see how I will space them out. But yeah, I want to make Saturday kind of a short talk video day uh, where I talk about some issues around soccer shirts that actually bother or inspire me or that I think are worthy uh, talking about. Actually, I've made already a little list here. Uh, and the first topic I want to talk about is now is release time. Um, around this time of the year, many, many new jerseys are released which in some cases means new templates for the big brands, maybe new design trends or just completely new looks. And to be honest, and I don't want to make these short talk videos all that ranty, but this is one uh, that bothers me. Um, I, and maybe this is me coming down, being uh, mathematically inclined, having studied statistics and, and so on, and also doing a lot of pro programming. I like things to have a clean beginning and ending and so I think if you have a jersey for a particular season it should be worn the same through the entire league campaign. I'm not talking now, I mean I could also go into the life cycle of shirts but I, I, I don't want to go there yet. I'm really bothered that at the end of the season, kind of as a teaser for the new season, we throw away the old jersey and we bring out a shiny new jersey. I think the first ones this season, uh, and I might be wrong on, on this, but the first ones that I noticed were of course Leipzig in the German Cup final, which came out with the bloodstained jersey, and then Chelsea uh, a little bit later for the FA Cup final uh, with their, yeah, <laughs> razzle dazzle 60s hippie, whatever look you want to call, call it. I'm not critiquing jerseys in here. But uh, it just doesn't seem right. I actually hope, I know UEFA had a few years ago, and maybe they still have it, the rule that you have to wear one jersey through the entire season. However, with uh, Corona, the, some, uh, some clubs changed already to the new set, which at that point I could understand because the Champions League concluded not in May, but in August. So, okay, that maybe I could live with. Um, so Bayern, for instance, the jersey that now they won the championship in uh, was introduced uh, late last season, I think in Dortmund actually, when they clinched more or less the title and then carried them way all to a Champions League trial triumph and so on. Now they clinched it and of course for the ceremony they will debut in a new shirt. And this is where, this is what really bugs me. that. Um, you wait for a special occasion to roll out your new shirt, although with the, the shirt that you had before earned all the stripes. But what will remain from the from, from season is you wearing this new shirt, which has done nothing. And I think, as I said, UEFA had uh, for a long time this rule now that you cannot change, but seemingly Chelsea wants to wear the new jersey in the Champions League final. And I said it in my review videos. Chelsea maybe should rethink that a little bit because they have now worn this New Jersey in two finals, the Women's Champions League final, the FA Cup final, and they have lost them both, I don't want to say resoundingly, but the Women's Champions League final was definitely a resounding loss. So yeah, just putting it out there. I think the last team that I can remember that wore a New Jersey in a Champions League final was Bayern Munich in 2013. 14 Real Madrid wore the same, Barcelona, I was fearing that they will go with the hoop jerseys, but they had to wear their great 14-15 jersey in the final. And then I think all the other finals up until the last one, again Bayern Munich, uh, did not uh, use the jersey, but uh, I, have, I have to say in this case it's uh, turned out to be an improvement. I think where it hurt me the most, uh, hurt is maybe not the right, the right word, but where, where, where I really thought this is just not right, where it first really came to me, it's when uh, the last Scudetto for Milan. Milan had been wearing this, the 1011 jersey, which honestly is similar to the current one that they were, no, no, not the current one, the, 21, uh, the 2021 George, uh, Georges with a little bit thicker stripes. Uh, they were wearing that one all season. 
And then for the last game where they knew they can clinch the Scudetto in Rome, uh, they wore the away jersey and then for the celebration they pulled on the new home jersey. And I was thinking this is just not right. Yes, I like that new home jersey with the thinner stripes. I actually liked it a lot better than the one that they played for most of the season. It just didn't feel right to me. The, you know, and I know a jersey is an object and not a person, but I feel this jersey has done all the work and then just for the lesson you pulled out a brand new one that has not done any anything and that gets all the accolades that that is what bothered bother, bother me and, and, and it's also not clean as i said i like my season to like there's a capsule you have a jersey for this season you can maybe uh, it would not be it would, would be nice if you have had for two seasons or even three seasons but you have it and then you're done with it uh, same thing goes now for the, uh, the national teams in, uh, in, in, in in a way i really would like and i understand that marketers and I, I understand fully the marketing behind all these moves of course you want to sell a new jersey and what better if you buy the jersey that they were lifting a trophy in okay but I would like the national teams. I think England did it for a long time. They played in qualification with one, and then they wore the same jersey in the tournament. No, nowadays we have it that in qualification you wear the jersey from the previous tournament, and then you get a new jer uh, jersey out. And it, as was the case uh, now for uh, the Puma teams uh, at the Euros, they had actually nice jerseys, but Puma has a new line, and this we need to crowbar into the, uh, the tournament. Uh, and, and we get bad jerseys, as I already talked about. To me, this bugs me. This is really some, 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 something that I don't, don't, don't like. I actually liked, you know what the best release la uh, as, of, as of late was? That was the wonderful 1415 France home jersey. The day one in the dreadful 1213 home jersey. That, that I never got why this was so well received. But they wore this at Euro uh, 2012 and then they wore it at the qualification campaign. They beat Ukraine, they came back as a miracle comeback against Ukraine where they lost the first game 2-0, then they beat them at South de France 3-0. They win it in that one and then in the dressing room they make the promo shots and we just have qualified and here is our new look. That I can somewhat live with. I would now of course like it much better if this would have been, you know, at the conclusion of the World Cup or the conclusion of the Euros. That, I think, would be even better. As I said, keep the same look, make it identifiable. But no, we need to pull out for every new tournament, we need to pull out new jer uh, jerseys. And then also the release dates. Usually Adidas and Puma roll it already out in the fall prior to the tournament. So you get half a year in advance. Uh, Nike and the others usually wait until uh, March and then sometimes even May and as I know for now we don't even know what North Macedonia will be playing in so that will also be very interesting how they will end up so yeah as I said I'm not very happy with that I, I it's a little bit too much anarchy there and I honestly have to tell this is uh, soccer leagues are always so much looking at the American market and they want to copy the business model of the American market but the one thing that all those American leagues do actually quite well is that you have to have for a few seasons a very defined look yes you can have your specialty jerseys in there and teams do that they have a limited slots allowed but there's always a unified look there is not the only thing that differentiates a jersey worn in a final is that there's a patch on there which is fine it also the other thing is i mean uh especially then in the build-up uh at the end of the season you always see the new temp the outgoing templates playing against the new temp and templates and there's just something not right uh, it doesn't feel right to me again i do understand the marketing you will sell a whole lot jer more jer uh, jerseys if the jersey is shown with uh, your favorite player holding up a trophy i get it i totally get it but do we need that I think if you have a good jersey design, and I think that that also makes, I, I, truly, I truly think that this also has an impact on the, on the design because you can get away with a lot of stuff. If you just want to have this one glory moment associated with that particular jersey, you can get away with crappy jerseys very, 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 very quickly. Uh, I honestly think we would get much better designs overall 
we will still get wild designs but i think uh if the jerseys have to stand out by themselves and what's more if and that will be another video but if a jersey would have to be worn for a few more seasons yes i saw it in the nfl or nhl and, and so there are some jer uh, some jerseys that are complete turds that need to be worn then for a few seasons and the fans uh, rile against it and then they come up yeah we need to make a solution and get a better jersey out that will happen but the quality will in will definitely increase because you don't want to put out a stinker that no one will buy but at the moment i think it's really you can get away for a season for putting out a really bad one because in a year from now something new will come, come, come out and maybe just maybe you will have a successful season and even the stinker will be successful that's all right but you have kind of a limited risk because it's just this one year cycle so yeah you know those uh, topics are intertwined but bottom line is i really don't like this early kid season releases uh, uh the late season kid early releases um we there are a few things with the new kids that come out there will also be a, a special vi video i see a particular trend evolving it's not big yet but uh we need to talk about that too but maybe that's a little bit later on um i have talked about Bayern, and i actually think and i might be wrong because I have not been following uh, in the 90s so much uh, anything outside Germany uh, because that's what I could, could get. But in my memory, the first team to do so, to present the new jersey at the trophy ceremony was of course Bayern Munich, with Adidas being uh, very much behind that. Please let me know if there's something else out there uh, where there's an early season re uh, an early release late in the season for a trophy presentation but I truly think that this trend started with Bayern Munich so yeah let, let me know what you thought about this uh, trend uh, whether you have any problems with it means maybe it's nice to have a sneak preview I personally dislike this trend I really dislike it and I know it gets more and more prevalent and if one does it everyone else does it and yeah I want I want a set of jerseys worn for the entire season. Now, again, let me know your opinion. Give me a thumbs up. If you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.